Master and Global Product Manager at Zebra Technologies for desktop printers. I'm here today to talk about the power jump run feature that is supported on ZD400 and ZD600 series printers. The power jumper is located directly on the board for Ethernet or serial. This board happens to have both Ethernet and serial on it. Legacy G-Series and LPTLP printers had a toggle power switch that could be left in the on position. When a power outage occurred, the power would be restored in the printer without any intervention. This was a good thing if your printer was locked in a kiosk or in a difficult to reach place. A few years ago, we introduced the power jumper feature for ZD printers, which have a soft power button to support that behavior. I want to emphasize that it is common for electronics to not have a power jumper feature. Think of your TV at home. When the power is restored, you have to manually turn it back on and it doesn't come on automatically by itself. There are three gotchas if you decide to use the power jumper feature. The first is that you need to change the setting manually. It's pretty easy to do. You just move the black Lego looking piece from the right two pegs and move it over to the left two pegs where it says on. Second, when the override is used, the power button on the printer is no longer functional, meaning if you want to shut the power off to the printer, then you have to unplug it. And third, you're also not able to use sleep mode, which is an energy saving feature. Thank you for joining me today to learn about the power jumper feature on Ethernet and serial modules that are supported in ZD400 and ZD600 series desktop printers.